Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Yakuza Zero. In the last episode, we got sidetracked while trying to buy booze for some homeless people that are working for Tachibata uh, Real Estate. Uh, and we returned a kid's uh, Ar Arakure Quest 3 game to him. Uh, in this episode, we're going to finish buying the booze uh, for them. We're also going to figure out the issue with, uh, with a, um, uh, a spat between two high school students. Hello, what would you like? I need scotch. There we go, scotch whiskey. Alright, have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day, yeah. Alright. Let's get over to the street where the stuff is apparently happening. Fixing up a lover spat between. Mm -hmm. Is that. Isn't that Mina? Her boyfriend wants to know how she's making so much cash. Boy. Hey. Can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Nani. What? A customer? Mm. Don't tell me this girl's really selling herself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess not. Did you want something? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going and see if I can figure out what she's doing. <laughs> How much? This is all new to me. Sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Could you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first-time customer. That's why That's why you're uh, so tentative. Um, sorry, the first time can be awkward and embarrassing. There, I think I managed to get the ball rolling. The girl's a little less wary, too. So, uh, what would you like? Huh? What do you mean? Um, well, top or bottom, which do you want? Any? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Is this girl talking about position? Sounds like she's giving customers an option of being on, t on the top or on the bottom. But I have to keep up this charade to figure out uh, if she's really selling her body. Body. Um, top or bottom? Which do you prefer? Help! The middle. T bo top? Uh, t top. Top. My bra, then. Please hold on. Huh? Your bra? Pardon? You said you wanted the top, didn't you? Oh, she's selling her underwear. Well, yeah, I did, but why your underwear? I don't get it. Sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm a, a, Bur a Burusera girl. Burusera? That's not a word I know. It's sh short for Buruma and uh, Serafuku. You know, bloomers and sailor suits. Through Sarah girls sell gym clothes, school uniforms, and lots of other stuff they've worn before. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that, and why? Aww. Why? I guess use, men use them to do pervy things. What else would it be? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. You're doing business with men who get excited over your secondhand skivvies. D don't judge! You're the one here trying to buy it. Yeah. No, actually. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away. I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. Hey. What? Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Great, she totally shut down. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. What's wrong with being a pervert? Can you admit you sell your underwear? Would you admit to other people that you sell underwear? Can you be proud of that? Eh? Huh? Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? I... Tachan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Huh? H how do you know about Tachan? Actually, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I would never sell myself! Right, you're not selling your body. What you're doing is... What was the word again? Burusera? But whether you're marketing your underwear or your body, I think you're still, uh, you're, they're still both about selling your sex. Or you, or can you proudly tell your boyfriend, uh, you do Burusera? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do this either.
Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. No, it's all right. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you a chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to dupe this Buru Sarah thing. Was it for money? Some of us are in it for that, but not me. I mean, it's nice having money, but it doesn't make me happy at all to buy things with money by I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just, just so afraid of Sachiko. Mm. Sachiko? She runs things for all the Buru Sarah girls in the area. Sachiko figures out where we should be standing on the street. She also takes care of things if there are any trouble with the customers. In return, we have to submit a part of our earnings to Sachiko once a month. So there's a girl overseeing the operation. Can't you, uh, you tell Sachiko you want to quit? That's impossible. As long as she's around, I can't quit doing this Buru Sarah thing. The high school girls uh, around here are all Sachiko's friends. If I try standing up to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar. I... I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. Mm. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I can find this Sachiko? I do, but why would you want to know? I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to your boyfriend and tell him you were pe peddling your panties. So I thought maybe I could persuade Sachiko to quit running the sketchy Burusera ring. What? Really? You'd do that? It would be wonderful if that worked. I'm not sure Sachiko could be persuaded so easily. It's worth a try. Where can I find Sachiko? I think she's doing her Burusera shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing Sakurazaki Academy's uniform. A long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know Sakurazaki Academy's uniform, though. Oh, I guess not. Sakurazaki's uniform is a white collar and a blue scarf. Sachiko sometimes wears a cardigan, but I'm not sure if she's wearing it today. A long-haired girl in a school uniform with a white collar and blue scarf, and she might be wearing a cardigan. Yes, I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this Burusera thing. Please help me. Well, uh, where? Oh, God. What district did she say again? Like the movie district era? Movie theater district or whatever? Outside the movie theater? The hotel district. Oh, might as well be in China. All right. Uh, let me, uh, let me go grab a cab then. Take me to the hotel district. Taxi! Time to beat up people who are taking advantage of uh, other kids. Kids taking advantage of kids. It's not right. There's a high school girl. Could this be Sachiko? The Bursa ring? Their problem? Not her. Light collar and a blue scarf. There's a high school mm. girl. Could this be Sachiko, the head of the Buru Sarah ring? Yes. Is something the matter? Long hair, white, uh, white collar, blue scarf. Not wearing a cardigan. Oi. Hey, Sachiko, shut down your Buru Sarah ring. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> so, you're Sachiko, the Burusera ringleader. Yes, I am Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Uh, yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work in your Burusera ring, and it's making some of them miserable. Miserable? They make a lot of money selling used clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Yeah, need... What? Customers want what we offer, and we're not breaking any laws. Why should, uh, shouldn't we do what we do? It's a health hazard. Think of your parents. K kill her! Girls shouldn't be doing this. You need to act like ladies with some sense of decorum and- Oh? So what you're saying is it's fine for men to sell their other pants, but not women? Uh... That's pretty blatant gender discrimination. The 80s, man. It's time to stop thinking so old school. <sighs> Think of your parents. What if your parents were to find out about your Burusit Sarah ring? Think of the pain they would feel. This is wrong. How could you be so cruel to bring up my parents? Huh? My parents are long gone. I have no one who would be hurt if they knew what I do. 
So my Burisera business doesn't present any problem for anyone. I I didn't know that, but <laughs> Psych! Are you seriously that gullible? My parents are fine. Uh, what? Can't even see through a lie so f that far fetched. Good job getting schooled by a school kid, big Mr. Adult Man. Uh, what you're doing is selling sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire, they're going to get burned. Oh well, well. I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. Nani, what? Are you finished? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like to. I'd like you to leave. She's not budging. I guess I'll let Mina know. Uh, oh, hello. May I help you? Mm -hmm. Sachiko-chan. Oh, Sachiko-chan. Your panties were so sweet, Sachiko-chan. I... I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Sachiko-chan. I love you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Sachiko-chan. I love you, Sachiko-chan. Love, 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 Sachiko-chan, Sachiko-chan. I love you, Sachiko-chan. Love, Sachiko-chan. I love you, Sachiko-chan. I really, really do. Uh, um, you're freaking me out here. Sachiko-chan, I love you, Sachiko-chan. Let's spend our life together, Sachiko-chan. I love you. I, I can't do that. Huh? I made up my mind, Sachiko-chan. I've already decided I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties, Sachiko-chan. Forever. Y you're really scaring me! I love you, Sachiko-chan! We'll be together forever, Sachiko-chan! No! Someone! Please! I... I... Kid! Uh... That was very quick comeuppance. It's all right. You're safe now. Huh? <sighs> Who the? You? Don't get in my way! Such a good shot is mine! Menacing man! Smack him with a tree! Ow! Time to slam him! Well, bam! Oh, here, do you need any help up? Well, bam! Are you alright? I. I'm okay. I told you, right? You played with fire and you got burned. Why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you. I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. That's... I don't... Sachiko-san! Uh. Mina! I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore! I'm quitting your Burisera group. I'm really sorry. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. And don't bully her for quitting your group! I hate to admit it, but you were totally right. The Burisera business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. I never even thought about a girl like Mina in danger for, from something I put together. I'm going to disband this Burisera biz right now. Oh, you are? Really? Mm. Yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yes! Tachan, I don't have to sell my panties anymore. Awesome, Mina-chan. Thanks for being honest with me. A wise decision you made. Yeah, you made their day, too. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be that frightened again. There's no need to thank me. <laughs> Got it. Besides, I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Oh. Okay. I don't get it. The 
Man in black go after me. We're going back to the homeless to give them some booze. They know me and they're coming for me. Hopefully I can outrun them. And I was able to outrun them. I ran into some people who didn't like me. I'm running away, running to he. What should I hand over? The Carlsberg. Here's your beer. Oh, perfect. You're a decent guy for a kid your age. What should I hand over? Sweet potato shochu. Here's that sweet potato shochu you've been waiting for. Nice! Now let's induct you into the club of connoisseurs, kid! Thanks, but I'm not drinking tonight. What? You got the wrong attitude, kid. But well, now they're offers you a drink, you drink it. Doesn't matter if you're a featherweight, though. That's the rules if you want to get ahead. Like when I was a businessman. What should I hand over? Here's your scotch whiskey. Here, this one's yours. Scotch. Oh, it pays to ask, I guess. Ah, uh, tonight's going to be a fun one. I can't get around them. Here is your champagne. Here's that champagne. You'll have to ask Santa for the next bottle. Merry Christmas. Here's your sake. The sake you ordered. Ah, beautiful! This is, this is the only stuff that gets me buzzed. You're the best, man! Now tell me. Ah, booze is really is the water of life. Tongue, tongue limbering up now. You bet! My whole mouth's nice and warmed up! <laughs> Should I be worried? I'm fine, I'm fine. You had one beer. I think there's really much I can tell you, buddy. Let's start with the work you've done for Tachibana's firm. Sure, you just go wherever they tell you and camp out for the day and make a nuisance of yourself. It's easy money. We just finished our shift at one spot today and got paid. Tomorrow's on to the next place. You were at the Hakua building until a little while ago, right? I was there myself. What? You already knew that? What else did you want to know? Is it Tachibana's company that reaches out to you for jobs like that, or do you go to get them? Hey, come to us, same as you did. Sometimes Yakuza from the Tojo clan hire us to do the same thing. They're in the business of chasing people out too. And it's a bull market for us homeless folks these days. Hey, we don't really care if it's for the Yakuza or Tachibana. Anybody wants to pay us, we're there. Fair enough. One last question. You know where Tachibana real estate guys hang out? Yeah, that'd be the champion district. I see him going in and out of there all the time. That area's a gold mine for land speculators. It's nothing but tiny bars all packed tight. If you can chase them all out and bundle those profits together, you'd make a killing. Alright. So you think their next target's the Champion District? Pretty sure. Though they're not the only ones, the Tojo Clan's been going after those properties too. Yaga's is a type like you, Waltz, is in there. All the locals are going to clam up, though. I see. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. Champion District. That may be my ticket into bumping into Tachibana's boys again. Ah! That you, boy? It, 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 it is, isn't it? Over there! Bacchus. Hey. Perfect timing! There's something I need to, uh, to talk to you about. I'll wait for you back there. Bacchus's training. <laughs> you on your way somewhere, boy? Sorry to hold you up. Uh, yeah, you wanted to talk? 
That's right, tell me. Have you been training? Yeah, here and there. Good, because I have something I'd like to ask you to do, if you're willing, that is. Mm -hmm. What's with the hesitation? That's not like you. Ah. Truth is, I've got deck collectors on my tail. Scary ones. Mm. Yeah, I gathered. You've been running since we met. No, no, no. Those two bit jokers are nickel and dime stuff. I'm talking tunas. Famous, and I mean it, and I mean that in the global sense. Now that they're here in Japan, and, and now they're here in Japan, hot on my tail. Hold on, did you seriously try to escape your mountain of debt by fleeing to Japan? Yes. And it's time, uh, this time there may be no going back. I think there's a price on my head. So I guess it's too late to pay the money back then. What are you going to do, Bacchus? Well, I was hoping I could, uh, get you to be my bodyguard. I figured as much. Unfortunately, I've already got enough trouble on my plate. Believe me, you'd probably be in worse danger around me. Ah, oh, no. That's no way to have a heart, please. Sure, I can't pay a retainer, but if uh, you protect me, I'll teach you some of my top shelf moves. The good stuff. Hmm. Are these moves better than your credit? Yes. Damn straight they are. They'll do you right in a tight fight, my boy. Hmm. Are you Bacchus? No, I'm Speedwagon. Ah. Hey, I think they found me, boy. This is the big scary deck collector, huh? I'm here for your head. Just doing my job, so don't hold it against me. Nani. Deck collector, huh? More like Hitman. No, no, I don't want to die. No, no, I don't want to die. Please help me, boy. <laughs> I guess I don't have much of a choice. If I left you here, it'd be like putting a bullet in your head myself. You stand back. Thanks, boy. You're protecting this guy? For now. I don't especially feel like watching him die. I see. Fine. There may not be a price on your head, but I'll see if I can swing a bonus afterwards. Watch out, boy! I don't like the look of this one. Way ahead of you. All right, let's do this. He's got a gun! I knocked off his sunglasses! My heat! No, recover, recover! Get up! Stop shooting me! Damn it! For his neutral special. Boy. I'm letting you live. You go back and tell over to the hit to forget about Bacchus, you hear me? <laughs> Think I'm the only one after this guy? What? There'll be others on his trail soon enough. He'll get what's coming to him. Ah. Sorry, boy. Why the apology? I told you to watch out for, uh, for a knife in your ribs, and yet I'm putting you in danger myself. Don't worry about that. I'd rather hear more about the offer you made earlier. What? <laughs> you said you'd teach me some new moves. Better make it quick, though, before the next hitman gets here. You sure about this, boy? I don't have much choice. Like I said, I've got my own problems, so a few extra survival skills would come in handy. <laughs> All right. Now let me fill you in on some moves that'll send those hitmen reeling. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. You ready to learn my moves? Yes. These are the moves I can teach you, boy. What's the key to brawling? Yes. Okay, the most important thing in a fight is tenacity. That's the secret. Sounds pretty simple for a secret. Though I guess in a fight, simplicity is best. Brawling comes down to the spirit in the end, so I'm going to teach you a move that harnesses that power. I call it spirit fire. You learned extra resolute counter. Interesting. So you use the force of an enemy's blow to strike them back with twice the yeah. power. Yes, I'm sure you'll be able to make use of it. Yeah. You're Bacchus, right? Neo? Hmm? It's one of those Japanese hooligans. You call yourself an assassin, you look about as pro as some sorry street punk. I don't really know what's going on here, 
but I just got paid a fortune up front by some guy. I get the rest once my job is done. Oh, so he's a street fighter on a freelance job. He doesn't look so tough. Shut it! I may not look like much, but I've never lost a fight. Time to earn this cash. Think you have the tenacity to win? It's the perfect chance, boy! Yeah, time to try out the move I just learned. What? You want You want some first, do you? Alright, open up and I'll serve you uh, with the, uh, serve you your own teeth. He knows jujitsu. I don't know how to do, uh, I don't know how to do Keanu Reeves' voice from The Matrix. Uh, you can charge up a counterattack. The attack is more powerful and likely to knock down the opponent. I'm holding it down. There we go. Defeat the hitman targeting Bacchus. Use your brawler style to take moves to take out the assassin. Oh god! Is there a block button in this? Beat him up! Ow! Left bumper. I almost got him. Oops! Up, 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 dizzy. I'm dizzy. Get up. Ah, got him. Punched him in the back. How the hell did you get the better of me? The boy wins. Hey. Yeah? Yeah? What'd the guy who paid you look like? It was dark, so I didn't get a good look at their face. From the way they talked, I guess they they were foreign. Well, it wasn't me. Of course not. It's the guy who's out to get you. Don't you get don't you get any more big ideas, okay? Yeah, I hear you. That's the wrong voice. Yeah, I hear you. As he looks at me and walks away, very, very sassily. Oh. Hmm. I heard these were the most dangerous debt collectors around. Looks like you handled this one no problem, though. We better hope they're all, all like this, then. Uh... Let me, let me heal up, because I'm about to learn another move, and, uh... Hell, <laughs> this next one doesn't seem like it's gonna be fun. Hey, bye. Hey, boy, you ready to learn my moves? These are the moves I can teach you right now. How do I break down defenses? <laughs> okay, opponents that stay on defensive are a real hassle. Sometimes the right move in a boxing match is to bide your time and wait for a win by decision. But that's the way of a true champion. You need, to be, you need the fighting instinct to do whatever it takes to grab uh, and wrench down the other guys. Fighting instinct, huh? Brawling and boxing don't have much in common, but I get what you're saying. It's the perfect move for opponents with a solid defense. I call it the face squeeze. Learn the effect, uh, essence of face twisting. I see. Your opponent can break free if you grab their arm and leg, but it isn't so easy when you're holding their face. Even with their guard up, you can have your way with them. Yes. 
Yes, you're quick at the uptake, aren't you, boy? You're Bacchus, huh? Oh, maybe a little bit more of a smooth voice this guy. <laughs> Another assassin. This one looks pretty beefy. Word is, your bodyguard here knows how to handle himself. That's why I got called in. What? Why you? Why you? Professional killers like us always take- always risk getting the tables turned on us. You often hear about second-rate hitmen getting taken down by their target. Yes. Yes, that's what happened to everyone sent after me so far. Although my boy here doesn't kill them. Well, that won't be happening with me. They call me the unassailable assassin. Nobody gets past my defenses, so I always get the job done. Here's your chance, boy. Uh, I get it. You want me to try to uh, the move I just learned, right? Quit mumbling. I haven't got all day, you know. Let's go. Never killed a man. Ever. Mysterious Hitman. Slip past the guarding enemy's arms and grab their face, twist them around, then stop them and finish the job. Press Y in front of the enemy with their guard up. Stomp. That uses one and a half of the heat meter in order to do. Twisty. Stompy. Once more! With passion! Those chiropractics good, good for you? Ooh, this guy's got a lot of health! Oof! Let me grab your neck! Twisty! Stompy! Stompies. Here! Here's a bike! Mr. Twist your neck! Bacchus! You prepare to, prepare to watch me- Oh boy! Stop being dizzy! Ah, he just bear clawed me! Get up! The bear claw again! Oh, get up! Dizzy! My heat! Why can I never get away from him? moves that require you to- OW! Get up! I'm just trying to do the good move on you. Okay, I just drop kicked him. That works. More break dancing. I don't get it. How'd you break past my defenses? That was a, uh, what was that about second rate hitmen getting taken out by their targets? You met your match today, so don't come back. I won't. Whew. You're getting stronger every day, boy. Uh, 
Yeah, guess I have you to thank for that. Does he still teach me moves? I think I've run out of moves for him to teach me. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Oh, Sorry, boy. boy, there's nothing I can teach you yet. You haven't upgraded your abilities enough to learn new techniques from Bacchus. Upgrade your brawler-style abilities under the abilities in the pause menu. Because I don't- I haven't invested enough in myself. But, enough of that! Next time on Yakuza 0! Uh, I don't- well, I guess we were supposed to be heading up somewhere, but I can't for the life of me remember where. So, I guess I'll have that brought back to me in the next episode. See you all then! Later!